Hey boys, welcome back to game four of my online series at the moment. And uh, after a fairly, a fairly dominant display last game, obviously feeling pretty confident going into this game, but the more, you know, the higher the streak gets, the more nervous I will become. So this is win, potential win number four coming here. Um, and you, I guess you guys are gonna have to take my word for it because I have, I forgot to like record or at least show like the leaderboards, um, but I'll do that in the future. Like after a game, I'll show um I'll show like the leaderboard and and show you guys the wins and that sort of stuff. Just so you guys um, believe me, I guess you know if you if you don't believe me, I guess that's fine. But uh, it's not like it's uh, a massive streak at the moment. It's only three games, uh, but we get a really good chance here. He just rushes out the line right there, and you know just pretty much ran straight at him. I saw him coming out of the line quickly. I'm like. Surely he has to be offside, so a, uh, a cheap penalty to give away and a uh, good early attacking set, and that's pretty much what we've done all the game so far. And uh, obviously we are playing as Raiders, I didn't really mention this, but he's playing as Parramatta Eels, and Shannon Boyd just goes straight past his, uh, his again, just rushing out of the line. It's, uh, it's not a great tactic to utilize in this game, but it feels like this game, it's not going to, well, it's not against a guy in New Zealand. I don't know if like the last couple were, but it, it it was a little bit laggy as right there. Poor stuff. I actually sort of just, um, I don't know. I think I got distracted and then, uh, I threw the pass way too late. So forward pass, we squander a perfect opportunity to, uh, post first points. And honestly, in this game, getting first points is, uh, is very, very crucial as a uh, Corey Norman off the scrum here gets around, um, Blake Austin, I thought, I think it was. I was trying to just to, uh, sort of slide across, but his pace just caught me off guard a little bit. As uh, this guy, he sprinted left, right to left here. He's going through the hands, but pretty easy to cover up. And again, the defense, camera angle is kind of zoom all the way in here. Is uh, Case of Pritchard here, just uh, making good ground. But uh, again, I don't know. I'm assuming this guy plays on this camera angle, which I cannot understand, but we got to do our best in defense like this. <laughs> it's not easy, but you know, he, uh, again, he's spreading it just to the sidelines. Inside ball there, not too bad, actually. He gets the offload away, but uh, we're going to come up with it. You know, he's throwing a few too many passes, and uh, we capitalize on that. As, uh, the camera angle, thankfully, is going to zoom out, and right there, we just go straight through with uh, Nick Kotrick. Uh, once again, just rushing out of the line, not really getting anything of it. But, uh, yeah, I was talking about before, big boy again straight through. Bevan French runs straight past him and the big fella just uh, making easy, easy ground. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying before, I think might have been playing guys in New Zealand the last couple of games right here. I see a Saliola just sort of ricocheted off him. He almost went to the try line. It would have been a, a fairly lucky try, but, uh, you know, that's what happens sometimes. Uh, but this game definitely against someone in Australia. The connection is uh, is pretty good throughout the game. I, I didn't notice really anything uh, too laggy. He's right there. He just raced out of the line with his markers. So we just got to throw the ball around here. I probably should have tried to put in a little grubber. But again, just out of mark, you can, especially online, you can get a little too, it's a little too quick. Like even when you charge up the kick early, like if they're in marker and they can get like a straight run, then it's like... It's so hard to get the kick away still, even when you power it up. So I just wish the markers were, like, not as quick as right there. We're going to give away a high tackle. So we've had a couple of chances early in this game, but haven't really looked like... I mean, a couple of times we've gone straight through and sort of look like scoring. But right here, going to give him a good chance. And uh, Corey Norman, a uh, pretty good touch finder. It's like the 40, 30 meter line. So uh, pretty decent kick there. Um, and he's going to get a good chance to go on the attack as uh, Tim Manor is going to take the first first hit up there. And we're going to do we're going to have to do well to actually defend our line here. We haven't really been in this position too much to uh, in our online journey so far. We've pretty much controlled the game, especially in the first half. We just haven't really let our opposition in with a chance. But again, he's throwing it out wide. That inside, he sort of tactic. Just uh, get out wide and then try that inside ball, which, um, you know, it could pose some problems. But uh, right here, flicks it back to Bevan French, who is definitely a danger man. Playing into the AI, Parramatta Eels, Bevan French is really, really hard to stop, usually when he steps. So definitely have to watch him. Sammy here, 
Uh, should be a bit of a powerhouse as well, but uh, we got uh, Joey and Rapana on that side, so we got a pretty strong side, but right here is so annoying. So annoying. You try to rush out a marker like he did. I didn't even try a big hit. I just tried a normal tackle, and we give another, another high tackle penalty. I was actually furious at this point. We defended really well, but a high tackle on last tackle, not even going for a big hit. I was... I was very perturbed right there, just um, things are not going our way early in this game, and he's going to spread it out wide again here, the inside ball, but we come up with a try save, but he's going to offload it again, and Tim Manor is going to get the try, just uh, we defended so well once again, but just the late offload, it's gone forward, just the refs did not call it, <laughs> I don't know if online the, uh, the forward passes from Offloading have been toned down as well because even like in the last game the guy was throwing a lot of offloads He wasn't getting pinged for forward passes at all So I don't know if that's like toned down a bit and offloads are, are pretty, you know Not easy to do but a bit more viable, but right there just not happy Not, not happy at all In all honesty, just uh, conceding the first try um, And yeah, this is this is definitely a turnaround for us Compared to the last few games, we have not had anywhere near the possession we have been having. And, uh, yeah. And uh, more frustrating is that, I'm going to be honest, this guy, this guy is not that good. <laughs> he's not that good. He's just, he's just throwing it sideline to sideline. But, you know, I, I, like, I was getting frustrated. But uh, by half time here, I sort of try, I just try to compose myself. Because I'm like, you know, the way he's playing, we can beat this. We can beat it going to half time. Just come out in the second half, try to play smart. There's no real panic at the moment. It's only 6 0. If he keeps playing like this, he's gonna get it's gonna get done. Like right there, another offload that doesn't get called forward, but you know, it's it's half time. Um, we do get the ball here, and <laughs> we're coming on the counterattack. Kotrick gets it to Caesar. Back to Kotrick, he's through. Oh man, if we scored right on half time there after his just nonsense offloads, I would have just it would have been amazing. Uh, but right here, actually. This is like my, obviously my fourth game in a row. And I was looking to see if you could change the defensive camera angle. Now, obviously, I've uploaded the first video and people have said that it's just because they play on the camera angle. So, yeah, obviously you can't change the defensive one uh, online, which is which is annoying. I've got to be honest, but we uh, we have dealt with it okay. We come back to the second half. Like I said, we just got to play smart. You know, this guy... He's throwing a sideline to sideline. He's throwing just stacks of offloads. And surely it's going to come back to bite him as uh, Michael Jennings here gets another offload away. <laughs> Semi here is going to get tackled. So still good uh, good cover up there. Dave Taylor is on the field. A bit of a X factor to bring off the bench as uh, camera angle is going a little, a little funky here. I think they, like they, I, I don't know. The camera angle is a little weird. I don't know if that's just the close one. As uh, right here, we do get the intercept, and thankfully, we kick the ball. Oh, man. I was actually furious right there. I did not pass the ball, but the game just passed it. It was extremely frustrating. Like, we got the intercept, and it was lucky because we threw... Um, as thankfully, he passes right there. I don't know why he passed that ball. Jennings was through. Um, but we... We got the intercept and we put the kick in straight away. Obviously, we didn't mean to, but it went backwards, so we got the ball. But then the forward pass, he just threw the ball. So he's going to get another chance. We just haven't had the ball. We just cannot get the ball in this game as uh, Mitchell Moses here gets tackled by Soliola. And we got to do some more defense on our goal line. We've done a pretty good job so far. He's just going out wide. We can, we can cover that pretty well. Another offload does not get called for. Another <laughs> offload. Oh man, the streak. The streak is in danger after four games here. Um, it's not looking good for us. Like, just nothing is going our way. Everything he does is just not getting pinged. We got called a forward pass, even though he's thrown like 50 offloads that have not been called forward. So, you know, things aren't going our way, but we're still in the shot. We're still in with it. So, uh, right here, he goes for the bomb. We do hold him out. So once again, our, our online defense is it's rock solid. It's rock solid. He's only scored one try with all the possession in the world. Um, big Shannon Boyd. And I mean, when we get the ball, we just make easy ground. So, you know, just just relax. Just play it cool. Don't 
<laughs> don't need a panic. Just just tell myself, don't need a panic at this stage. We're still in with a good chance. It's only 6-0. The time does run out quickly, but right here, honestly, right here, I was sort of cheesing, just going out of dummy half, sidestepping, just making ground. I was I was mad, so I was just going for it. And Joey Leilua on the back of a fantastic set. He almost got... I thought we were going to get held up right there. He came up with the ankle, like the last ditch ankle tap. A big semi was uh, was there to make the tackle, but we score. So, our first real possession in like the last, I don't know, like half an hour or so of this match. And we just go length of the field and score a try. So, if we get the ball, if we get the ball, we can, we can put some points on. But just, you know, just got to get it. But thankfully, here we are going to get the... Uh, the kickoff as well so chance to go back to back and put a little pressure on this on this guy because uh, he hasn't really had to face much pressure in this game he's pretty much had the other uh, the share of possession is again Hodson just uh, like I said at this stage I was just wanted to win I did not want this guy to beat me with the way he was playing um, so I was using the, uh, the dummy half scoot so I was using all that sort of good stuff and making making ground as a uh, Jordan Parner, haven't seen him much. He, again, he's like race, racing out of the line, just um, leaving these massive holes in the defense. So, yeah, we uh, we really can't exploit that. Is uh, the outside, inside play to uh, Jack White, and I thought it was going to be a beautiful try, but uh, not to be. Last tackle here, Josh Hodgson is going to get it to uh, Soliola there. I didn't want to pass it to him, but uh, somehow he's going to get away with the ball. I thought we were going to get a six to go. But we couldn't pick the ball up. Apparently, it was a knock-on from us. So, just uh, got to defend well here and hopefully get uh, the ball in good field position. As uh, Semi is going to take the first tackle there. And uh, he's going to scoot out with Jennings. Go straight through. Some poor defense by us. We come up with the angle tap and make the tackle. But that was that was pretty frustrating defense right there. We defended so well, but that was that was poor. Just letting um, Jennings just go straight through. As uh, Will Smith now tries to do the same thing but uh junior paulo a good stop there so four tackle don't know if he's going to set up for a field goal here but we give away a fucking high tackle penalty oh man paulo and once again i did not go for a big hit i didn't go for a big hit i i wasn't even going to risk it but we give away another high tackle he's going to take the two which is obviously the smart decision but I could not believe it. Everything in this game has gone this guy's way. We just cannot get any any calls. I don't. I mean, he might have given away a couple of penalties. I can't even remember. But the high tackle penalties. Where are we? But right here, we get the ball to bounce in the end goal. I thought we were. I thought we were in for a chance at scoring a try for a second there. But we. Uh, he does defuse it. Um, as uh, he's just going to look to you. Would think you're just going to run the time out here. He's got the game pretty much sewn up. He goes for another offload. What is this guy doing? He's got the game won. But he goes for the offload, and again, he doesn't get punished for it. Just, um... And right there, it fucking ricochets off, bloody. Mitchell Moses onto Jennings, but he gets drops. Jack Wyden has come up with one of the plays of the game. And Jen and Boyd is going to take the tackle, so we have... We have a chance. We have a chance here. And he's going to give away the penalty offside. <laughs> what a match. What an infuriating but also thrilling match at the same time. Jared Croker with an actual difficult kick. I have to nail it. I was freaking out because I had to nail this kick and I think we just got it. We almost didn't make the distance right there. It was close to being in the yellow, but I th we just got in the green. We get the penalty goal. We level the game up. I, I actually couldn't believe it. Jack Wyden has come up with the clutchest of plays. The big hit. Jennings made a break. And this stage, I mean, I, I just I was on the fence whether or not to go full out attack or just sort of go to golden points. Uh, but I true Hodgson out dummy half. He's gonna take that. It's gonna be full time going to a golden point. Like, oh man, this game. I have no idea how he didn't how he didn't win. I have no idea how he got back into it. I mean, we haven't played. I mean, I, I don't think we played that bad in this game. We just haven't. Everything's gone against us, but we're somehow. We're somehow in with a shot. As Shannon Boyd, he has played the game of a lifetime. Just every time, every time he's run it, he's just gone straight through the defensive line. As uh, Blake Austin this time again, he just rates out of the line, just um, just opening up a huge hole. So, I mean, if we get the ball, 
and I was very thankful that we actually got the ball from the kickoff as uh, Hodgson goes straight through this time, steps around Devin French, third tackle, really good chance to uh, to win the game right here. Shannon Boyd again straight through, he's not going to be able to get to the try line. Fourth play, what do we do? Do we set up for a field goal or go for the try? It's going to be Hodgson, <laughs> he's going to score, he's going to score the try to win the game. Unbelievable stuff. I just, I just, I honestly couldn't believe I won this game. I was so mad for all of it until the end when we won. When we leveled it up with the penalty goal and then getting the kick return, I thought we've got this game. As you see there, we had no ball. We gave away way more, well, two more penalties. Um, but yeah, we won. Hopefully guys are enjoying the series. Jeez, that game was a thriller. And I'll see you guys in the next one.